everyone, my name is Nikki Wheaton. I'm a naturalist from the Missouri Department of Conservation. What I have for you today are some of the snakes that call Missouri home. Snakes, whether they're non-venomous or venomous, have a very important role to play in our state. So I want to show you some of the common non-venomous snakes that you can see that are beneficial for you, but also some of the ones that get mistaken for venomous snakes. This is our prairie king snake. Prairie king snakes are found throughout the state and as you'll see as I move him closer, he's got some little blotches on him. And then on his back, he's got some bands that go across his back. You will notice that those bands, like right in here, those bands do not connect to those spots. Unfortunately, these guys are mistaken for copperheads throughout our state, the little ones are. Their bands, like I mentioned, do not connect. Copperheads, their bands connect all the way from one side to the other. If you think about a pa their pattern in a way that you would recognize it, it's very easy to remember. Copperheads, their bands are fat and then narrow and then get fat on the other side. So looking at a copperhead from the side, it's gonna look like a Hershey kiss. Looking at it from above, it's gonna look like an hourglass. This guy is gonna be going through lots of different habitats and what he's gonna do is he's gonna be eating a lot of the mice and things like that that you don't want around your house. So this is a very, very beneficial snake. And as you can see, he's calm and all he's doing is kind of smelling. So no harm done by this guy right here. Another snake that is common throughout Missouri is the speckled king snake. Now from far away, she might look all black, but if I get a closer look, her speckles are not as defined as some of the other speckled king snakes in our state. But she'll have yellow speckles and then her belly will be checkered like that with yellow. Now she, like I mentioned, is a speckled king snake. What's really cool about this type of snake is that king snakes in general, but this one in particular, really like to eat venomous snakes. So king snakes are super beneficial to have around your house because they're going to eat those venomous snakes that you might not really want around your house. So this little thing right here, if she were out in the wild, and she wanted to, and she found a copperhead, she could eat that. King snakes are immune to copperhead, uh, rattlesnake, and cottonmouth venom, which are some of the venomous snakes that we have in our state. And she can eat them if she wants. They're also gonna eat mice and things like that around your house. As you can see, this one is pretty curious. They just wanna get someplace that's nice and warm, right around my neck is nice and warm. Um, and they just wanna be safe. So they really hold no danger to you if you leave them alone. So if you don't know what you're doing, let them be, let them do what they're supposed to in their habitat and they will be just fine. They'll go and get other little snakes to eat or mice and things like that that you don't want around in your yard. So like I said, this is a speckled king snake. They're found throughout the state. All you gotta do is look for them. This is our last snake. This is a black rat snake, a western snake, a black snake. It's got a lot of different common names for it. So as you can tell, he is black. He's a black snake. If you look at him from far away, that's all you're going to see. If you see this guy up close, he's got some brown and red that goes through. That's not uncommon, but a majority for this species, but a majority of these guys are going to be all black. They're going to have a white belly with black splotches on it. So black. This guy is very, very common around the state. You guys can find them out on hikes in the woods. You guys could find them even in your own front yard or places like that. So they eat mostly rodents, but they will go into trees. They're good climbers. They'll go into trees and get some eggs and things like that. But what I want you guys to see about this guy right here is his tongue. That tongue is out and you'll notice that it's forked at the very end. Now they have that forked tongue so that they can smell all around them. So the tongue goes out, it goes in two different ways, and it's sending messages from over here and over here what's around him. It goes back to a special organ that he has and it processes that information. So they know where their food is and where their food isn't. So he's never seen my camera before. So he knows, um, or he's exploring, what is around him. I hope you enjoyed visiting with our three snake friends today, our speckled king snake, furry king snake, and our western rat snake. Remember, snakes are not out to get us. They don't want to hurt us. So when you see them out in the wild or maybe in your front yard or backyard, 
let them be, let them continue on doing that job. You never know, they might be going after mice that's, that are around your house. So let them do their job. Appreciate them for the wild animals that they are and the amazing opportunity that you get to see them. I hope everyone can get outside, practice safe social distancing, and discover nature in your own backyard.